Hey everyone, this is Lola Reddy from Abstract Music Lab and today I'm back here in the Sound Design channel to recreate an ARP that I've taken over here from the Circle Volume 3 for Diva and you can find it over here in the description below. But if you want to listen to the sound in context, it sounds like this. And what we're listening to is the ARP over here. So without the lead. And with the lead. It's just a background element, but it's really cool and it makes your sounds a lot bigger. So let's dive in right into Diva and we're gonna initialize the preset over here. We're gonna disable the shaper box also over here. And we're gonna start this one, it's gonna be a triple VCO. We're gonna leave all the modulations untouched and we're gonna use actually the triple VCO. For, to start this over here, we're gonna put this transpose to zero. In the first one, oscillator one at eight, oscillator two at four, and oscillator three, we're gonna disable it entirely. This is oscillator one. This is oscillator two. Okie dokie. So now oscillator two, we're gonna pick this over here and we're gonna put the detune a little bit up or down. And you can see that it creates a little bit of distortion in the sound. And in addition to that, we're gonna change the wavetable a little bit over here. And in addition to that, we're changing here the waveform of oscillator one as well. So you can see that it creates quite a different sound but we have to change this volume over here and put it to something like this. So it sounds a bit better, it sounds a bit less wobbly, and that's essentially what we want. Now moving on into the mixer section, we're gonna leave the feedback as it is at zero, and the noise, we're gonna put this a little bit higher. We can't listen to anything and that's because we don't have enough cutoff for the moment. When we open the cutoff, this is going to appear a lot more. Now let's go here, well let's go to the cutoff. And into the cutoff, we're going to start here by leaving this as a 24 and we're going to pick this cutoff and put it a bit quieter. But essentially we're not going to do anything with the cutoff so far because we have to change first the digital and the digital envelopes over here. Why the envelopes first? Because we need to modulate the sound and we need to modulate the cutoff as well. So we're going to have to do it either way. Let's modulate the sound first. Essentially, the sustain is going to go all the way down. And you can see that it sounds more like a pluck. But if you listen to the original, it's almost like a boom, 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 boom. You can listen to that. It's not a boom, boom, boom. It's almost like a boom, boom, boom. And that's because we have a little bit of attack over here. The decay is gonna go a little bit down, just a pluck, and the release is gonna remain as it is, velocity and keyboard tracking as it is. Now, digital envelope two, and this is going to modulate the cutoff. We're gonna leave the, let's already set this to how much we're gonna modulate this over here. This is gonna modulate a lot. You can see that we already have a more open sound. And in addition to that, we're going to modulate the envelope to over here. So again, we're going to leave this more as a swell. So you can see that increasing the attack already gives more of a swell feeling. We're going to decrease the decay a little bit. Decrease the sustain also a little bit. And we're going to increase the release. So again, this envelope modulates this envelope over here that opens the cutoff according to the envelope over here. Now, in addition to that, we're also going to have to set up the LFO2 over here. Because the LFO2 is also going to modulate the cutoff a little bit. And in order for us to do that, we're going to have to assign some stuff to the LFO2. In the LFO2, we're going to assign here the random hold. This is going to be a gate at 1. And you can see that now we're going to increase the rate a little bit. And in addition to increasing the rate, we're going to increase the modulation of the rate as well. And we're going to modulate the rate of the LFO2 by the LFO1. So let's go and modulate LFO1 right now. 
LFO1, zero phase, zero attack. The rate is going to go a little bit smaller, but this is going to be really fast. And in addition to that, we're going to use a random glide. We can't listen to anything at the moment because the depth mod is all the way up. So essentially, this is only assigned to the mod wheel. We want it to be completely unassigned to the mod wheel. And instead of a gate over here, we're using a single. So essentially, it's not going to hit for every note, but for every new note that we play, every new low note that we play. So essentially, if you look at the MIDI over here, you can see that we have a new note over here, and then we have a new note over here, a new note over here, a new note over here. These are not going to restart the delay. Okie dokie, let's go back here into D.Va. And now back into D.Va, we already have everything that we need to assign over here in the LFO2. And we have everything that we need to assign also in the LFO one as well. In addition to that, we're going to choose a little bit of vibrato. So the sound that we listen come from the ARP. We're going to have to choose a down ARP with two octaves. This will be in sync and this also be in zero and we will restart after six notes. So now it feels more of like what we want. In addition to that, we're going to put this to four voices and two stacks. So you can see that the sound already sounds a bit different right now. Perfect. Now let's go over here in the modifications because there's a lot of things to be done over here in the modification. So the first thing over here is the FM from the cross mod. We're going to choose this to LFO2 and we're going to choose this a little bit higher. So you can see that each note, they play a little bit different from each other. Essentially, this is modulating this FM over here. In addition to that, we're modulating here the noise with LFO2 again. You can see that some notes have a little bit more noise than others. And we're also modulating the filter over here again with LFO2. And this is modulating this FM over here in the filter. And you can see that each note, it plays a little bit different than each other. So now let's go into the trimmers. We're going to change a little bit of the detune. We're going to put it a little bit down. So this is going to make the sound a little bit less detuned. And we're going to configure a little bit of the oscillator voice detune as well. So this is completely random. Essentially, what we want is for each of the notes to play a little bit different from each other. So this one, something like this, and possibly a little bit like this. And essentially, that's it with the sound. Now we're going to have to go into the effects, which are going to use a plate. The wet is going to go a little bit down. No pre-delay. Diffusion a little bit down. And also the dampening a little bit up as well. But the important thing is that the decay is going to go a lot bigger. And the size just a tiny bit bigger. Now, the big thing over here is the delay. So in the delay, dry remains as it is. The center volume goes a lot up. The side goes all the way up. But you can see that now pretty much it has a lot of delay in the sound. And we're going to use this high pass over here to shake a little bit of this and also a little bit of this as well. The wow all the way up. And the feedback also a lot up as well. But this is a bit too well behaved at the moment. We need to make this a little bit more like a ping pong delay. So center.
And essentially that's it with the sound, if you want to compare to the original. Taking the sidechain off. It's just a bit louder in the original, so we're gonna just make it a bit quieter. And essentially that's it. Now let's listen again in context with the MIDI over here. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out any other future videos from the Sound Design channel. This is Leo Loretti from Abstract Music Lab. Cheers. Hi, this video is sponsored by us. If you like these tutorials and want to support the channel, please check out our website packed with online courses and professional sample packs. Also check our ready to use and club tested serum presets. You can browse by the genre and style you're looking for or get the incredible deal with the full serum preset bundle. Thank you for listening and now let's get back to your tutorial.